Saturday, January 28th at Baja Naval. It's not in Mexico. So I thought we were gonna gel coat with the windlass install. Looks like they did some painting up here. We'll take a look and see what's going on. Here is the new La, La France Tigris. Looks like it came up pretty well so far. That. Ready almost for launch. The bottom job, the hull's polished and nice and shiny. But it looks great. Slight delay of action here due to the uh, volleyball game. And I'm super, super happy with how she looks right now. All right, Friday, February 3rd. It's about 3.45 a.m. We actually left Baja Naval. I didn't get any uh, footage of this. We've been super busy, but um, but was done at Baja Naval. We got all the work done. Um, we are underway motoring right now. We're gonna lift up the main here a little bit. So we're uh, a little ways outside the harbor and um, we've got a ways to go. Right now we're actually bashing into, uh, it's about 20 knots apparent. It's gusting a little bit. So it's really, really killing our boat speed. Um, we're averaging uh, maybe high threes, kind of four knots right now, which is super slow. Uh, Ensenada behind us. Looks like we'll have some moonlight. Pretty full moon. Uh, motor sailing with the reefed main up. We've got a single reef in the main. It's not doing much because we're uh, headed right into it. We'll turn a little bit more to starboard as we head up the coast. Um, beautiful spot. There's Isla Todo Santos. And we're approaching beautiful sunset, it looks like. Behind us on our uh, port quarter, you can see uh, Putabanda area there. It's absolutely beautiful out. We're uh, seeing about uh, 15 knots apparent. Uh, we're doing just a little under five knots now, so we're going a little bit better. We were about a knot slower when we were seeing in the you know the 20s uh parent wind so about 20 knots is bringing us down to a kind of a crawl so i think for the rest of the night we should do a little bit better uh these these waves aren't doing as much waivers. so a quarter after five sun's starting to go down starting to cool off a little bit we have uh 54.9 nautical miles left to go so it's got a little not cruisers midnight but real midnight just a little bit north of rosarito beach rosarito tijuana all right 2 a.m and we are officially in united states waters should probably be filming this clusterfuck we uh we got some air uh we've got a fuel issue right outside of San Diego. It's 3 a.m. We're right outside San Diego light here. Just kind of uh, slowly sailing slash drifting at about one knot. And uh, engine started slowing down. And then uh, finally it stalled. So we've been trying to kind of troubleshoot it. Wondering if there's a blocked pickup from some sediment or something like that. Super clogged. Then the suction. Yeah, that would that, that, that would, that would that make would. sense for the suction. And if it's you know forcing air in because because it's sucking so hard, basically. Not a lot of air in there, as much as I thought. Uh -uh. It's probably, this is clogged from sediment. I would think so. We're gonna put on a new one of those. That other one came up, it's on the, the screw that you put down there. Yeah, okay, now I see what this is for.
Oh, that's pretty funny. Just a few miles into the U.S. waters and <laughs> this shit. Where are you talking about? You didn't get the Bill Murray part? <laughs> God damn it. I was waiting. I was look, waiting for that. Look, dude. Oh, that looks like shit. Fuck yeah, Let's does. see it. This thing's bad. Okay. Got that camera? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Look at that. Yeah, fuck that. Okay. Put that in the uh, the bag there. Here we are at the CVP dock in San Diego. Made it. So we only had two minor emergencies coming into. Uh, one was a false alarm. So the first first issue that we had was the the uh, we had something going on with the fuel. Uh, the filters needed to be changed, but suspect there was a blockage at the pickup at least that's that's my theory so uh so we got stalled out there just as we were coming into san diego right near san diego light and then uh just as we're uh entering the, the harbor our uh, vhf uh, ais automatically just uh starts sending out um a distress signal randomly so we had to have a little multiple. chat with the coast guard multiple distress signals so but we're here uh we have to wait till 6 a.m so about an hour because the uh cbp agents start uh the, at night they're they're handle the work out of san Isidro for the border and then at six someone in san diego starts working Angles. all right so you want to see if you can uh kick the bow out Kick that 22,000 pounds out. Yeah. yeah, watch this stern too, but see if you can push her out. Kinda. You can you can go ahead and drop that and just get on the boat. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and put her on gear. Go ahead and hop on guys. Beautiful sunrise over San Diego. Six fifty one. We are just Thanks. departing. After bashing all day yesterday, there's like not much going on now, which is fine with me. Solid naval escort here, dolphins. Point Loma and San Diego behind us. We are turning and uh, heading north. San Pedro or bust. USS Lake Erie, Ticonderoga class, 11:45, Saturday. What? We're just cruising along. We've actually we've been making pretty good time this morning, so we've been in the six knot range. Um, started to see a little bit of ripples on the water for a while. It was pretty smooth. We had we had some small rollers, but we didn't really have any wind. We're starting to see a little bit of a breeze. Um, there's a gale watch tomorrow, so we want to get in tomorrow. If uh, all goes well, we don't run into any issues. Uh, we'll get in late tonight. 
may get a, a little you know a little wind on the nose uh this afternoon may slow us down a little bit so we'll get in somewhere between 10 p.m and 2 a.m is my guess probably uh before midnight but you know we just have to see what the, what the weather brings us may be able to get some sailing in later this afternoon but right now we're you know we're kind of headed right into the prevailing winds such is the bash and coming back from uh san diego or ensenada all right cooking with keel dragger another episode so we're gonna we're gonna make mexican boneless naturalis uh mexican uh chicken what are these nougates <laughs> New <laughs> chicken nuggets. nuggets. These were uh, 45.96 pesos, so about two dollars for the chicken nuggets. Nothing but the best so, here. So we don't, dragger. we don't have any uh, air. So I wanted to have an electric air fryer. We don't have that, but we can we can bake them in the omni oven. First step we do is we open up the vent, the window to vent, so we get ready to cook. Second step is we take the fire extinguisher, we put it down, uh, fire I was gonna detector. Say, <laughs> smoke, the next thing smoke we do alarm, is we, it's called a smoke alarm. The next thing we do is we locate the fire extinguisher. So I think we're good all on, on that. And then we have the Omni oven. So we'll put the bottom on and uh, we'll start pre-warming it. And turn on the uh, solenoid. We are underway, by the way. What do we have, about 50 miles to go? Yep. Around there. Put that on and then turn it to, what I figured out was pretty much have to put it on its lowest setting. The nice thing is you don't use that much. You don't use that much uh, propane when you want to bake something. You should also wash your hands before you get started. I'm pretty sure this is the first time anyone has washed their hands on this trip. I washed my hands before I made breakfast. Okay, second time. <laughs> so we'll place these in the Omni oven. These are all gonna be baked. Probably smarter to do this before you put it on the flame. There we go. Now we put the lid on and uh, we just wait until we smell something burning. We know we're done. It's a very technical process. <laughs> kind of hoping we get like uh, chef's reactions on uh, TikTok or. Gordon Ramsay to do a review one of these days of our cooking skills. <laughs> All right, we'll be back All with right. the... <laughs> Close it out. We'll be back. Close it out. <laughs> there aren't any words there. I'll do it live. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Let's see what we have. Let me turn off the stove. Look at that. Look a little bit more uh, golden-ish. All right. Evenly distributed. Quasi evenly distributed. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Three o'clock p.m. Last man standing. Andy and David are uh, catching some Z's or rusting. I had my turn, so. Here's Catalina. It's, uh, I don't know, 30 something miles out. Pretty, pretty good view of it. What time is it? 439. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. 
got the sale for once, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, for once. 439, let's do this. Hold on, hold on. Go, don't listen to him. <laughs> I'm not the captain. Okay, you're good. Let's put a little bit more tension on your uh, on your uh, uh, head sail. Bring it in just right. Uh, that's perfect. We're sailing! <laughs> only took 18 hours. Yeah, only took us. <laughs> by the way, it's been over 18 hours, hasn't it? It's been, uh, all what, almost 25 hours oh, yeah. since we left. Yeah. What's that sound? There isn't any. Turtle head, prairie dog, turtle tail playing peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs> 